Okay, hearty welcome to our Ferry Tech channel. Today, we are going to see a biggest issue that is involved with the research and development activities that is plagiarism or plagiarism. Means we unknowingly or knowingly copy the content from few other papers in our research work. And when it is undergone through the plagiarism check, most of the times we see that our documents are copied from some doc some other documents, some other articles. For that purpose, we require a good paraphrasing tool. And in this video, I am mainly concentrating on the most used paraphrasing tool to remove the plagiarism. In other words, even though so many tools are available, the Quillboard is the one which is most preferred. But I recommend you, even though you use Quillboard, it is up to us how much, up to how much extent we can have to use this particular application or tool. Let us start by looking into this tool. Very first, I will share you with the page, the website that is quillboard.com. Once you open this quillboard.com, you're about to see this particular screen here. Unless you log in, the characters are like 400, limited up to 400. If you log in, it will take you to 700, but it is not useful. For that purpose, most of the times we used to go for premium. Those who want to use it for freely, they can go up to 700 characters at every time, but few of the options like this, you can see, these are all, I have to sign up for opening up this one. But from Creative Plus, all these options are to be opened with getting the premium. That is, we have to purchase for on a basis of monthly or annually. Now we will see both the types. Very first, let us go with the normal one. I will copy a few words here from one, more, one article, what I have taken. When you click this one, when you put standard here, you can look at that a middle ground of changing the input and keeping the meaning. It's not, there's not much change in this particular aspect. Means there is a few words are going to be changed. When I click here, paraphrase, you can observe that how many words are going to be changed here. Look out here. A few words, you can observe the differences here. A few words are going to be reframed or based upon paraphrased by means of their synonyms without spoiling the meaning of. Whereas coming to the fluency, this particular one improves fluency and fixes grammatical mistakes. Most of us used to get our papers rejected due to grammatical mistakes in the international journals or reputed journals. This particular option can help us to remove any grammatical mistakes are there. When you click this option, you can see how it changes itself the paraphrasing. You can see a few of the things will change based upon the grammatical issues. But when you have to open these things, you have to log in. Before going to log in, I'll show you, let us see what are the premium options we have. When you go to premium option, the thing is that this particular character size will be increased from 400 to 10,000 characters at a time. Let us see how much it is, Quillboard premium. Now, when you click here, you can see here, what are the options with free? How many words can be happened here after sign up? How many 700 paraphraser? Two sentences at once, three word flipper options, three writing modes, Google Chrome and Doc extension. Whereas along with these things, we we'll take the premium, the character limit or the paraphraser character limit will be up to 10,000. Means it can be seen that so many options have been opened up. Now, as I'm having the premium, I would like to show you how the premium works. I will take it to login. Okay. 
here let me take one minute time for this particular login please bear with me for this one i'm going to log in with it Now, I would like to take you to the option here of login. Once it is login, you can see here how many characters it has been gone to. 10,000 characters it has been. Means even all the options here, creative, you can look down here, change the sentences the most, but it is almost likely to make errors. Creative Plus, all these options will be opened up. But let us have a look at here, Creative Plus. There is one condition that whenever you are using this one, the condition is that you are not going to use this particular options for any abusive languages or any ad contents, changing of the ad contents that may lead into copyright things. Other than these changes, shorten, expand. These are also very helpful for writing the thesis, project works, even academic project works, even some content writings, essay writings. Those who are preparing for any examinations, they, it will be very helpful for them. Here, the word flippers are there. After you, you, if you choose any of these options, you can go to word flipper, how many words you want to flip. Means if you go for few words, it's more accurate. If you go for more words, it is less accurate. In this way, you have to choose this one and be careful while you choose this one. When you choose this one, this particular aspect will be changing with more words, but the meaning might be different. Better to choose these things with our own intuition, use our own intuition and use of the tool perfectly such that we get to the best option of getting our work done easily. Now, this is about the Quillboard software, which is the most used paraphrasing tool to remove the plagiarism. But I prefer you to use your intuition while using these tools such that you don't change the meaning of technical words or some of the methodological words, what we get in our essay ratings or thesis. Okay, thank you for watching our video and I would like you to visit our channel and be updated and please subscribe our channel for getting the latest updates. Thank you.